Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Sweat it to the truth. Yo, what's going on, man? So we got street preacher, evangelist Mario Esparza, who ministers to a gay couple out in the parking lot. Let's tap in. All right, so who am I with? It's Lika. Do you want to be in the interview too? It's Jay. Okay, we're just going to do it. Okay. She's Jay. You're Lika. Mm -hmm. well, what's the purpose of life? Oh, shit. You just can't come from the club or what? No, we just came from Lika stuff. What's this right here? Oh, Spa Castle. Yeah. Oh, Spa Castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so what's the purpose of life? To be all that you can be. All that you can be. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? The what do you think the purpose of life? Generational wealth. Just, just generational wealth. Just, just you know. What do you? What, for me, I live my life to be able to preach my own funeral. Preach your own funeral. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? That okay. means. The preacher don't have to preach for me. Other people that I've been interacting with will. Okay. okay. What do you think that means? Total wine, spirits, beer, and more. Why is it called spirits? I don't know. I ain't never heard of that until I came here. You know why? Spirits is the liquor part of it. But what, why do you think it's called spirits? Why do you think the liquor is called spirits? Yeah. Oh, it say, say it again. It brain different spirits. Are you spiritual? Yes. You believe in, in demons? Yeah. Yeah. I like how he opened that conversation up, man. And we're gonna learn a lot from him just how to how to minister to the lost. I think a lot of us need coaching on that. Oftentimes we like to just walk up to people, you going to hell. Then folks like, I ain't trying to hear, I ain't trying to hear none of that. We ready to knock you out. I like how he lead in and just ask questions. He come and ask them. And they give an answer and they have dialogue back and forth. Yeah. Have you seen one? Yeah. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? No. No, I never. Okay. Well, where did you see the demon at? In in my auntie's house. How old were you? We was like ten. Tell us about it. It was weird. Like it was crazy. Like it came on the TV. Wow. Like it was. Auntie was in some stuff she wasn't supposed to be in. I wish Mama would try to take me back over there after I seen that. Yeah. Nah, I'm straight, Mom. Like. Like we was all there, we knew. Like we, like to this day, like we all grown. But the ones that was in that room knew what the f thing, and it was not pretty. We dipped up out the f house. We did, right. and I wouldn't go back. Ain't he gonna have to come over to our house? I really don't even want you to come near me because I done seen this thing at your house. You might bring it over here. I'm straight, man. Don't come around me, ain't he? And what she got on, man? Jean panties or what? I don't know what this girl got on, man. I believe in that. I know, you know, higher power, all that. But higher power means it's got to be something else. You know what I mean? If there's a higher power, there has to be something else. Yeah, so like, if you believe in God, you believe in the devil. It's definitely a devil. The devil yeah. does exist. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that heaven and hell? Yeah. I believe that, yeah. Really? How do I get to heaven? Yeah. I want to get there. How do I get there? By, um... Accepting God, okay. believing, and believing. having faith. Yeah. So if, if I was to get hit by a bus right now and I'm, I'm bleeding out of my brain, I say, hey, how do I get to heaven right now? What would you tell me? I, me? Personally, I would tell you, talk to God. That's the last person I ask What if I can't even speak? To my mind? Okay. Ask for forgiveness? Yeah. Who's God? What is the way? I need direction. Everybody know directions on how to get to Florida or their favorite store, their favorite restaurant. When it actually come to getting directions, how do I get to heaven? People have you every which way. You see that? They, they, they strapped down right now. See what you gonna do with them? The big homie. The big homie? Yeah, that's the big homie. That's my father. <laughs> Who's Jesus. your God? Jesus' father. Jesus' father? You believe in Jesus? Yeah. Why do people say he's the only way? I don't get that. He's not. So there's a many, many ways. Wait a minute. That, hold on. Let's, let's listen some more. Are you Christian? Yes. Okay. And you? You? Yeah. yeah, but like, you know, I, I ain't no way in the world. There is no way in the world that you claim to be a Christian, a believer of Christ. And you say that he is not the only way. 
that's one of the first things we're taught when we come into Christianity, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through the Son. So this should be very interesting. Because I, I, I interview Muslims, Buddhists, and Christians, and, you know, the Christians are always saying Jesus is the only way that the Bible, they say that the Bible says he's the only way that he no, said that. what I believe is, that's all right. I just feel like, you know, you just have faith, like, love, be kind, and just be a better person. Just be good to people. So, like, if I worship Buddha, like, am I good, do you think? I only believe in one God. But you just said there's multiple ways. No, no, no. I didn't say it was multiple ways. What, why do people say he's the only way? I don't get that. He's not the only way. What did you say? I said Jesus. I mean, God is Jesus' father, but there's not. You know what? We'll give you benefit of the doubt, Miss Lady. It's not multiple ways. I don't believe in no other God. But Jesus. But Jesus. I just feel like. So you would tell me believe in God, the, the father. I believe in what you believe in, but, yeah. but then there's I'm a different saying, way. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's I'm just saying if way. you ain't out here doing bad for people, so I can make it through Buddha. I don't, I don't know, know. About, but Our good is not good enough to get into heaven. The Bible says that our righteousness is nothing but filthy rags. That's it, that's all. So that means even on our best day, is nothing but filthy rags unto God. Now, it's not saying that we can't do good things. It's just saying that those good things that we do won't get us into heaven. It's like saying that a thief can feed a starving child, but that doesn't change the fact that he isn't a thief and he doesn't need to go to prison for, for what he's done. What about I Muhammad? About I don't know I don't anything know about either. anything. Muhammad working my job, but I don't know. <laughs> That's Shout out to Muhammad working at a job. Strong man, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm for real. It's a Muhammad at my job. I don't know no Muhammad. I don't no. know. I don't right, know. So, so, okay. So, you would tell me believe in Jesus. That's what you would tell me. No, I would just tell you to be kind, be great, yeah. do right by others. Don't try to mistreat. Are, people. are you going to heaven? I believe so. Yes. What about you? Definitely. Yeah. Why? Because you're a good person? Yeah, I'm a good person to everybody you I meet. For the most part. Can I test this? Yeah. All right. Let's pretend this is a mirror, okay? This is going to get fun. Yeah. Have you ever stolen? Yeah. yeah. What do you call somebody who steals? Have a I ever thief? caught somebody who steals? No. A what thief? do you call somebody who steals? A thief. Okay. Have you ever lied? Yes. yes. Okay. What do you call somebody who tells lies? A liar. A liar. What are you? A liar. Have you ever lied? I was. can be a liar. Oh, you're not a liar? You're a lying thief. I was. Okay. Well, wait, wait. I'm asking you a question. Okay. Have you looked at another? It's getting real. Person with lust. Yeah. Okay. This Have is you my ever... fiance. So, okay. Yeah. So then, you, okay. So yeah. you, you're a homosexual lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So have you ever fornicated? Yeah. Stepped outside of marriage. Yeah. We're uh, doing that now. No. Well, yeah. Stepped yeah. outside. We're yeah. not married yet. Okay. Yeah. We're engaged. Have you, have you blasphemed God's name? Took his name in vain. No. No, I don't do that. Oh, okay. Like the own God so, and so, all that. Yeah, yeah, so, no, no. So, so like by your own admission, I'm not judging you, but you're lying, thieving, black, black, away, lying, thieving, adulterous, fornicator at heart. And you, you, if you were to die right now and face God, did you know that one sin separates you from God? One sin separates you from God. You've committed. You, we know for sure you've already broken four. You, you, you've had four sins, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you say you live in a homosexual lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. You is know that, that. Is that a sin though? Well, it's against the. It's the a man. To men. To man. What do you in mean? About, it, ooh, we ain't physical there on camera. No, that, the people need to know what, what you believe. It, it. Yo, even if you took off the homosexuality and added in everything else, you still sinners. To man, that's how I feel. But if, if you read all through the Bible, he wants you to just love. Love. He wants you to just love. Okay. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. Okay. We'll get into that in a minute. Let's let's just let's let's say it. God is love, no doubt. But God says, if you love me, you will follow my commandments. Let's say let's say that let's say on the track that I was trying to see show you something. All right. So you sinned, right? Just like me. Yeah. If you're to face God on judgment day, we'd be going to heaven or hell. I'd be going to heaven. Wait, wait. You sinned. Yeah, and He forgives them. Okay. So let, let, let me get into that. Let me get into that in a minute. If, if you, okay, God did something so you don't have to go to hell. Do you know what it is? What did he do? He died for our sins. Okay, he came as a human being, Jesus Christ. His blood is a payment for our sins. I'm Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. That's right? So everything you're saying, I agree that Jesus is the way. Right? 
So his blood has. See, they both get to raising up them. I go. <laughs> oh boy, raise up his old girl, lifting hers up like even a pop off or what? <laughs> has washed you, has cleansed you. You're right before the Father because of what Jesus did, not because you went to church, not because you read the Bible, mm -hmm. but because of what Jesus did. You are right in, in God's eyes now, right? But what you have to do is receive what he's done. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And walk in the way he's called us to walk. Would you say you walk with him? I do. Okay. Every day. You. Mm -hmm. yeah. I okay. talk to him every day. He know my You heart. keep his commandments. Yeah. Okay. The Bible says, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Yeah. You keep his commandments. Absolutely. So you you don't believe that in the way you're living is a it's a, is a sin. No, I feel like that's somebody. I th I feel like that's man opinion. Human. Yeah. It is a sin. Okay. I do feel like it is a sin, but I don't feel like I'm not gonna get in heaven because of it. I don't. Becoming a part time Christian, man has nothing to do with that at all. Outside of God, man has no morality. And so if it was actually up to evolution. Anything would be nothing and nothing would be anything. And what I mean by that is, is it didn't matter if we went on a mass killing spree. That would have no good or bad value to it because evolution starts with no purpose. And so if mankind origin starts from no purpose, then there is no way that we could give name to this being good or that being bad. Or People be giving us too much credit, bro. We dumb at best. Don't think so once it... You don't believe it's a sin, but you no. believe it's a sin. Why do you think it's a sin? Because the Bible says it's a sin. Okay, so you, she said it. It does. Talks about a natural relationship. But it doesn't. Man wrote it. Okay, well, wait, hold on. That's up. a whole. Yeah, like That's now. What I'm saying. Like, no, 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 no. But, but let, 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 listen to what you're saying. You said that you believe Jesus. So that means you believe His word, right? Mm -hmm. So now you now you're saying, oh, but now man wrote it. Yeah. So either you believe it or you but don't. What I read. Can I can I tell you something before we keep going? Yeah. I'm not judging you. I used to do cocaine, be with sugar. I, I cheated on my wife and did horrible things in my life. Okay, not judging you. I'm just we're having a conversation, so, and we want we want the light. We want the light to come here that way because it, it brings freedom. It brings the truth brings freedom, right? The thing is, bro. People will believe in say they believe in Jesus, but not the word. We have to have. A reference point something to actually know him something to actually understand him there are things that's right and there are things that's wrong what we didn't have to ask ourselves okay well who did this come from it couldn't have just came from man because that would make man perfect that would make that would make some man perfect so it had to come from somebody or something that was outside of us because I think if you ask anybody in the world who is the embodiment of a perfect man living on earth, everybody will be like, nobody. Everybody makes mistakes. And so where these laws come from then, we have to question like, okay, this couldn't have came from man because this is, these are perfect laws. And that's where Jesus, the word of God, should come into play for those who say they believe in Christ. The reference point. Mm -hmm. So... Don't don't feel like I'm I'm coming at you in a certain oh, way. No. We're just trying to. We uh, I want you guys to understand the because scriptures, right? If you can't judge me, cause what's that? What? If you judge, you judge her, well, the Bible says judge righteous, righteous. You you to you, matter of fact, we're to hold each other accountable in the body of Christ. Yeah. We're, we're, we're to say, listen, hey, sis, you represent Jesus, our Savior. You're an ambassador of Christ. You're a representative of Christ. Why are you walking like this? And that's correction and accountability, and it's amazing because that's how you grow. Iron sharpens iron. If I didn't love you, I'd say, well, I'd stay quiet. I ain't going to say nothing to her. No, but since I love you, I'll tell you, hey, you're going the wrong way. The way you think you're going is not the right way. The way you, your life will reveal truly what you believe. If you say you believe in Jesus. And, you and that's facts, bro. Like, you get so many, so many people. And I see Christians doing this. I, well, you shouldn't judge. You shouldn't judge. No, bro. The Bible tells us to judge righteously. That means to judge according to the word of God. In the Greek. There are two words. It's called krino and anacrino. Krino is to judge in the sense of condemning one to hell. That we do not have the authority to do. But we do have the authority to anacrino, which means to discern from right and wrong, good and evil, according to the word of God.
and you, then you believe his whole word, not just bits of it. You don't just twist it to, to make it fit the way you want it. So you don't think nobody did that? What? Twist it, twist it. No. I, I believe that God's word is in, in the er, inerrant word, the infallible word. If not, then you guess Everybody what? Everybody was born sinners. Of course. But that's why you must be born again. So you feel like Jesus says on, these people wrote the Bible. Of course. But they were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Listen, everybody's born into what a lot of people don't realize when we talk about the Bible, a lot of be like, man, well, the Bible was, was written by man. Yes, but they were inspired by the Holy Spirit. This means that men who accepted Christ accepted the spirit of Christ, which is the Holy Spirit who comes to live on the inside of us and then begins to reveal to us all truth. It says that in the Bible, he, get, he begins to guide us. He be, he's our guide. He's our counselor. He's our moral compass. This is the Holy Spirit. Into sin. You're right about that. I was born into sin. She was born. He wasn't born. Into, you were born into sin. But guess what? What is Jesus saying in John chapter three, verse three? He says, hey, unless one is born again, you by no means will enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, yes, you were born into sin. You may say I was born this way. I was this or that. You know, guess what? That's why Jesus says you must be born again. What do you think? He, what do you think he meant by that? Have you been born again? Yeah. I don't think he I've put us on her to be unhappy, time. though. Yeah, that's why. I will be unhappy. It always going to come down to I will be unhappy to me with a man. Is love. Like, happiness, is, <laughs> happiness is just feelings, though, right? Is it? We all have to feel while we're here. Okay. The Bible says walk by faith, not by sight. Not by how things feel and see. Because if you walk by that way, it's carnality and brings death. But if you walk by the things of the spirit, it brings life and abundance. See, because I could feel like, you know, what makes me happy, I want to go rob a bank and then go use all the money to go uh, travel and, and take a bunch of vacations. Definitely it's definitely a sin. And that's what I did. We could do it. <laughs> that's my target. You, you did that? <laughs> you robbed the bank. Yeah. But she's Couple a changed person now. Okay, look at that. Uh -huh. Why did I say that? That's crazy. And then I'm just, and, and I didn't even know that you did that. Yeah, I said did. I was a felon. Wow. I, I stole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to this day, I don't want to. But see, she acknowledges that. And the Bible says we become a law to ourselves. Even if we haven't accepted Christ, we still become a law unto ourselves because we still because we still judge. And because a person can judge and say this is bad or that is bad, according to that law, God is going to judge you. So men are without excuse. And we still show, even in our sinfulness, people who haven't accepted Christ, we still show that we are made in the image of God. By setting our own standards of what's right and wrong, though it's skewed, we still show that we're made in the image of God. No, nobody else's. You don't want nobody else's stuff? No. no. Good. Good. How, how much time you do? 27 months. Okay. Yeah. No, I've done a lot. Did you, did you, did you, uh, did you have a lot of time to, to spend with the Lord there? 27 months. Yeah. And, you, and you talked to him? All day. What did he reveal to you? Who I am. Okay. Who are you? Before I went, I didn't know who I was. I was afraid to be who I was, what I liked, what, because I did try all that dating men and all that, but that's not where my heart is at. And I feel like my opinion, your opinion is how you feel. Everybody's opinion is how they feel. Only. That'd be a lie from the pit of hell. Um, the enemy would tell people, man, that he'd be better off with a man or a woman, that she'd be better off with a woman. But God didn't create us that way. That's why we have two different genitalia. The major aspect of God is to produce life. That's always what God has been about. Forever what God has been about, to produce life. So when they come together, a man and woman, they produce life. And that's what God is about. Only gotta, when I leave this earth, I only got to see one person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your opinion. So how you feel is how you feel, how you feel, how you feel. I've know, known a lot of but, people that were gay. You know that? A lot. And and matter of fact, I've, I've discipled some that, that they've gone through that lifestyle and I've seen freedom in their life, right? They change. Yes. <laughs> they change. And let me tell you something. Do you believe in spirits, right? Do you believe spirits can possess? She said she believes in spirits. I've do. never okay, said. I've believe? never seen a spirit. I've never had an interaction with spirits. So, so what, is, what does a woman and a woman create? What can they create? God has created man and female, right? Yeah. And everything that he, he said, be fruitful and multiply. He's called everything that we do to multiply, to reproduce, right? Mm -hmm. Can a man 
and a man reproduce. No. It's a positive, positive, right? Yeah. Can a woman, negative and negative, reproduce? No. Life would stop. That's how you know it brings forth. Well, listen, listen. Life would start, <laughs> stop, right? It bring death. There would no, there will be no more kids. Imagine everybody was gay. Just but imagine. That's not true, though. Okay, so. With this and age, you you're coming to part time Christian. Think that yeah, we but, but you're baby? altering the natural way. Everything is altered. So what's the God's? You're, you're altering God's natural way. Everything is altering God's natural way. So that's not true. Now there is perversion. You know, like when it comes to sex, for instance. You know, man and woman being married and having sex. That's something that's been ordained by God Himself. Is when people start stepping outside of that, begin to start seeing the perversions of it or the alterations of it. Oh, what I'm saying is here. If could you reproduce I mean, life? Could you guys? We're gonna talk well, no, about no, no. Could you and her that reproduce life? We can life? have a kid, and we're going to have one. Not like, no, no, like natural, natural. Of it, course, we know that you we can't do can, it can, can a man and a man no. reproduce life? You can't. So, do you see what I'm saying? God is called. He, he's all about life. How could you reproduce if everybody here on the planet was gay? But what about the people that? He so didn't we're not facing allow. the fact that things. Because I know people that can't even have kids. You said what? And I know, I know people, people that, that can't, can't even have kids. Yeah, and I, I, you know who I knew that couldn't have kids in the Bible? It was uh, Samuel's mother. She cried out to God, and the the priest actually thought she was drunk, but she was crying out, and God opened her womb that day. And after he opened her womb, she had Samuel, and she dedicated her son to God. So yes, there's been people in the Bible who couldn't have babies, but guess what? They cried out to God, and God opened the womb. I knew someone personally. I know someone to to this day, personally. Who can give testimony to them not being able to have a child and they cried out to God and not only did she have one child but she had two children <laughs> and so most can't tell me that God cannot change your situation whatever it is whether it's homosexuality whether it's not having a baby whatever it is God can change your situation because he desires to he desires that our desires be changed and we desire what he desires for us so that he can give us the desires of our heart. The womb of the mother. I still know people that bought the only deathbed couldn't have kids. Well, uh, did they cry out to God? I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Because I but know what if they did? God God maybe, maybe it wasn't God's will then. And it's not God's will for us to be straight. You said what? The part time Christian right there. It's not God's will for us to be straight. Shut the I'm ready to go. Okay. A person having a baby has nothing to do with homosexuality. Has nothing to do. Them are two totally, two totally different things. Come on. All right. Well, look. So what do you think this message was about? Okay. What did you think this message? Look, can I tell you something real quick? I was a year and a half ago. I was talking to a lady. She was drunk, though. She was drunk. She had been drinking. Three minutes. Say what? I've been drinking. Okay. So let me tell you this. Three minutes after I talked to her, she hit a concrete barrier and died. Look at my eyes. I'm not kidding. And I'm not trying to just scare you. You can't, though, because if it's my time, it's my time. But, but, listen, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Do you, do you, they be like, you got this time. I, be like, I believe. I believe God is. Listen, I believe. I hate when people say that though, bro. My time is my time. Knowing if they were diagnosed with cancer, if the doctor diagnosed with stage four cancer and said that you have a week to live, man, them folks gonna be doing everything in their power to try to stay alive. Crying, scared and everything. So when people say my time, I ain't scared to die. Man, look. Stop it. Get some help. Stop. Believe God is trying to reach you guys both that he loves y'all. I know that. And, but he's called y'all to, he says, be holy as I'm holy. We Jesus. Y'all said y'all going back to church. Oh, we're trying to find a good church, but you know how it is these days with homosexuals. If they can't accept us how we are, then we don't want to be there. <laughs> so, so like, you, you, like you want your, your way or the highway. That's what you're saying. No, if I can't be, but it's, but it's, I am, but I'm it's a black not, woman, oh, no, don't put the race in it. Oh yeah. 
Because black woman, talking, I got a bunch of black people in my church. If we're talking about religion, we're going to talk about race because they're two of the same thing. Yeah. And my church is a lot of Mexicans. A lot of Mexicans. So, like I I'm said, Mexican. if I can't be accepted as I am a black gay woman, then I'm not going to be there, period. But I'm Mexican. Because it doesn't matter, though. But I'm saying, though, where we go, if I'm having a, a situation with my job for being a black woman. Okay. Not even and being I'm sorry, gay, you're... I'm a black woman. Okay. And have to go through these things. Wrap it up. Please don't give me Hey, Please. and I'm sorry you're going through things. Yeah. This ain't got nothing to do with God. I was born black, but I'm still going through what I'm but, going through. But, okay. no, but you're the one who brought up the race. I didn't bring it up. Let's go. Look, can, can, can I pray with you? Thank you. Father, I thank you that your daughter's heart, she's so open to you. She loves you, Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, protect them, Lord, and get them home safe. Amen. God bless you, sis. Being black and homosexual has nothing to do with one another. Now the Democrats use black and gay by saying that they are oppressed in America, but it's two totally different things. God is not trying to change my skin color. However, God is trying to change my desires if they're not according to his. But shout out to Mario Esparza, that's his name, for, uh, for doing kingdom work, man, and just for being a light out here in, in that community, being a light in a dark place, man. People really need that, man. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace, love. I'm out. Sweat it to the truth. Nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible. Y'all point me to the booth. Sweat it to the